Across the southeastern United States, a predator that was once thought to be extinct is making a slow recovery. The Canis rufus, better known as the red wolf, is still considered critically endangered, although its chances of survival have been significantly increased over the past three decades. In 1980, there were no red wolves left in the wild. Only 14 remained in existence and were being kept in captivity to prevent complete extinction. Breeding programs started by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service began in 1973. In an attempt to save the wolf from complete extinction, wildlife conservation activists captured 400 animals all thought to be red wolves. Out of the 400 captured, only 17 were believed to be purebred. With only 17 purebred red wolves left in the breeding program, the chances of its survival looked bleak. To make matters worse, three more were unable to breed, which left only 14 to repopulate the species. A larger conservation program took effect in 1987 when many of the newborn wolves were moved to other conservation sites across America. Of the many national parks and conservation centers taking part in the rehabilitation process today, Tallahassee, Florida has one conservation center that is helping in the recovery program. The Tallahassee Museum is home to many endangered species, among them the black bear, Florida panther, and the red wolf. The, the museum is one of 41 red wolf breeding facilities nationwide. According to Susie Bezo, the value the red wolf has in the ecosystem is incredibly high. Well, they're very important to the ecosystem. Um, not being out in the wild anymore, they were the one of the top predators. So because of that, the wild deer population is way too big. That's why we had to open hunting season, you know, on the deer. Um, they're not taking out any of the smaller animals. So having those top predators removed, like the Florida panther and the red wolf, has made it a lot more difficult than all the other prey animals, there's too many of them. So We were one of the first five institutions to join into the Red Wolf SSP um, and we've been, we've had some litters out here. The program decides who gets to breed and who doesn't so they don't want all the wolves breeding all the time because they need to keep that gene pool very specific so um, we've, we've been part of it since the 80s, the early 80s. As of today, approximately 206 red wolves across the U.S. live in captivity for protection. Only 120 have been permanently reintroduced into the wild and are limited to the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge in northeastern North Carolina. Conservationists are confident that the wolves may very well make a full recovery and be able to roam the land they once called home yet again. To support the Tallahassee Museum's conservation efforts, donations and memberships can be made online at www.tallahasseemuseum.org.